Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given quadratic equation by completing the square. And one thing you can see over here that the constant term is missing. Before we solve this given quadratic equation by completing square method, I want to show you a really simple and easy alternative method that I have just put down over here. You can do this thing. You can by just simply factoring out 2x and then go from there. You can split them up and you got x equal to 0 and x equal to negative 6. Your two solutions. If you have a choice, you can use this one. But sometime your professor or your teacher is going to ask you use this specific method, then you're going to be doing this one. So the very first thing, let's go ahead and finish this thing off. So we want to make sure that uh, the leading coefficient is 1. So we have to divide this one by 2 since our leading coefficient by 2. We're going to divide by 2 across the board, across the board, all the way. So we're going to have then 2 and 2 cancels out. We got 1x squared plus 6x equal to 0. Your next step is I want you to just look at this the coefficient of x which is 6. Don't worry about this sign. I'm just interested in 6. Just put down 6. I want you to divide this one by 2. Always divide by 2. So that's going to give you 3 and then whatever this number 3 is square it. So we're going to add this whatever we got this thing on both sides of this equation. So we got x square plus 6x plus equal to 0 plus and then I'm going to just simply put down 3 square and then 3 square. And if you look at the left hand side, this is a complete square of x plus 3 square. Now you might be wondering where this came from. This x came over here. This 3 came right up here. And this positive sign just showed up right up here. Equals to we got 3 square. Now I want you to go ahead and undo this square by taking the square root on both sides. So far so good. So once you take the square root, this square and square root undo each other, this square, square root undo each other, we got x plus 3 turns out to be equal to positive or negative 3. Now I want you to move this positive 3 on the other side. So we got x equal to when you move this positive 3 on the other side become negative 3 plus or minus 3. So far so good. So the next step what we're going to do is I want you to split these positive and negative sign up. So we're going to have negative 3 plus 3 and the other side is negative 3 minus 3. So negative 3 and positive 3 become x equal to 0 on this side and over here x equal to negative 6. That's our solution set turns out to be a 0 comma negative 6 and that is our answer. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.